Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm super nervous. I, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous, okay? I'm nervous. I don't know. <sighs> I mean, we're here, so I might as well just tell you guys. I didn't know this was going to be so hard. I didn't know the words would be so hard to, to find. Oh my God, okay. Okay, shake it off. Okay, shake it off. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> To my channel if you're new here my name is Tamara Henderson and I am here to tell you guys a big announcement because I have been a YA for a while which a lot of my subscribers and viewers notice and some of y'all send me some messages showing concern which I highly appreciate so like I drop a video here and there sometimes video that I had before and then I started doing like some vlogs like some resort vlogs and uh, I just some of you guys may like realize or may like uh, I honestly don't know what to say I honestly don't know what to say or how to, uh, or how to get started okay so uh, I know some of you guys may suspect and uh, some of you guys may not but like uh, oh my god I feel this is harder than I thought I have a big secret that I have been hiding from you guys for a while now okay so I finally decided that okay Tamara it's time for your loyal subscribers and viewers viewers to know what's going on with you because a lot of you guys are concerned a lot of you guys message me on my Instagram so I'm showing like showing your concern and I assure you guys I am fine uh, some of you guys thought I quit YouTube that will never happen okay don't even think that <laughs> I love YouTube I love you guys that will never happen all right so guess what guys my big announcement is I am pregnant I'm having a baby guys yes I am having a baby yes me innocent me having a baby <laughs> Oh my god did i just say that aloud because i'm still i'm kind of still in denial that i'm pregnant guys i am pregnant i don't want to say how far along i am as yet but like oh my god i'm getting like i'm starting to feel emotional right now so guys i found out that i was pregnant and uh, like it wasn't planned for I should put that out there it was a big surprise for me and my partner and uh, I think we dealt with the situation pretty well because none of us either of us planned or expect to expect <laughs> so like I think we dealt with it pretty well all right but like uh, uh oh my god what should i tell you guys oh guys i will put um some clips of my first doctor visit um in this video and some little videos of the baby so you guys can like i didn't really want to leave you guys out because this is pretty big this is a big deal and i didn't want to leave you guys out so i ensure that i make clips little videos pictures and stuff like that for my doctor visits and stuff so you guys will see the baby and what's going on all right so don't worry 
even though your girl was AYA, I was actually like making, make sure you guys did, do not miss out on anything. When I found out, I was five weeks and six days. Yes, guys, five, five weeks and six days. I was almost six weeks. Well, one day before six weeks pregnant. Yes. So, so guys, um, how I found out. <laughs> oh my God. How I found out was like, um, I missed, well, I didn't miss my period actually. Like my period came, uh, the month I was on a uh, contraceptive also so my period came and it wasn't like as hard as it used to but I was like I wasn't really paying any, any mind because I was like saying to myself uh, I mean sometimes this happens sometimes it's heavy flow sometimes it's not so not a big deal all right so my next period uh, it came but all this time guys remember i was on the pill it came and it stopped so i was like my period never come and stop so what is this all about so anyways <laughs> i went to the country to visit my grandmother that same day i realized on my way to the country I wasn't feeling any cramps at all. And normally I have really terrible period cramps, guys. Really terrible. So if I do not take a painkiller, God help me, okay? So I realized my, my I didn't get any cramp at all for the entire trip to Clarendon. So I'm like, hmm, okay, maybe like, and then it wasn't heavy. So when I take like a stop to, ch to check to make sure that I'm not overflowing, I realized there's nothing. So I'm like, okay. Maybe it's not flowing heavy as yet. Maybe tomorrow it will. Cause you know sometimes your period comes, but then it's not heavy. But the next day it gets heavier. So that's what that is exactly what I was saying to myself. So when I get to Clarion, then um, there was nothing. There was there was like there was um, a little spot, some little red spot. Nothing heavy, but I mean like it's supposed to be heavier than this. But anyways, I didn't pay that any mind. So I was like, okay, went to my bed. The next day, I see nothing at all. The, 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 the tampon was absolutely clear. There's nothing at all on the tampon. So I'm like, hmm, I feel I've never done that before. So I don't understand. So I keep watching it. I keep watching it. I told my aunt and I told my sister. They told me not to freak out. I'm like, okay, I'm freaking out a little over here. <laughs> So anyways, um, the entire day went off and nothing, it's still nothing. So I'm like, okay, it's not, maybe tomorrow it will start again. Tomorrow comes, nothing. So you know your girl be like, what the hell is going on here? This has never happened before. So Jesus, come up in here and tell me what's going on. <laughs> so my aunt, I keep talking to my aunt and my sister and I keep telling them what's going on and they keep them telling me not to worry. It's gonna come back, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. And I keep waiting for it to come. So like three days pass, nothing. So I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm gonna take a, uh, a pregnancy test, okay? So I went and I bought three, three guys, three different brand pregnancy tests. And when I got them, I went inside the bathroom and I was like, Lord, please, please be on my side today because you know, and I know that I am ready to get pregnant yet. <laughs> so I took the test. I took the first test, trembling as a leaf. It has two, st two strokes on it. I'm like, this one is broken. I ain't playing with you. Put that, put that one aside. I'm like, okay, maybe this is a cheap brand. Maybe it's broken. I don't know, but this one, it's not correct. So I put that aside, open another pack, put the P on it. It has two, <laughs> it has two strokes too. And I'm like, mm -mm, no, sir. 
I need my money back because these tests are not accurate. I need my money back. Maybe they're expired. I need to check the expiry date because this cannot be possible, okay? So anyways, I have a last test to leave. So I get it. I said, Lord, and I prayed. <laughs> I prayed. I said, Lord, as I sit here, we all know those two tests was malfunctioning. And this one is the good deal. So this one is going to actually give me the, the correct result. All right. So I took the, sec the third test. And the third test said I was pregnant also. Yes. My eyes opened so wide because I have never expected that I would get pregnant because I, <laughs> for some reason I've never seen myself getting pregnant. I don't know. Maybe sometime in the future, but not right at this moment, okay? So I didn't know how to act. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I immediately took a picture of the, the 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 result and i sent it to my partner and he was like are you are you sure are you pranking me because the guys i always prank them <laughs> so he was like are you pranking me i'm like is it like i'm pranking you <laughs> he was like don't play with me tamara i'm serious are you messing around are you being serious this time i'm like i'm being serious this time so I call, he called me and we we're on the phone and we we're talking. I'm like, yeah, it's real, it's accurate. I am pregnant. And he was like, for real, for real, for real? And I'm like, for real, for, for real? <laughs> we were like, for real, for real, for real? And then I'm like, yeah, 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 for real, for real, for real? I can't get any more realer. I sent you the pictures and here I am with my three tests. <laughs> can't be any, re any more realer. So yes, guys, I saved the tests because I want to put them in a scrapbook for the baby. So here you go. Those are my strokes. <laughs> I am 100% pregnant. <laughs> yes, so I came home the same day. I, I drove all the way from Clarendon to Montego Bay the same day, speeding as hell, got pulled over by the cops. And you know, I had to talk my way out of it, so I didn't get a ticket. And first of all, even if the, the cop asked me for my license, my license registration, I could not give it to them because my license was in my trunk, in my suitcase. <laughs> so, he did not ask. We were talking. He was a cool cop, big of myself. Yeah, so I got home and my boyfriend greeted me outside. He hugged me. We hugged each other for a while. And it was really emotional that we're expecting a baby that we didn't plan for. And like, we were like, he held me. We came in the house, he held me like for hours on the couch. And we pulled, we held each other and we lay on the couch for hours and hours and hours. Just like there, like, just there holding each other and reflecting the fact that we're going to have a baby and he was saying stuff like oh my god you're pregnant i can't believe you're pregnant we're having a baby <laughs> I'm, I'm remembering now and i'm getting pretty emotional because he was saying the sweetest things and he was like i wouldn't imagine having a child with nobody else but you and i'm so happy it is you i'm so happy that we're gonna have a baby and i'm hearing myself like <laughs> I'm gonna get fat. <laughs> I'm gonna get fat. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to like my vagina is gonna be open wide, and there's a human being inside me. But anyways, yeah, we're there, and he's like, they're making me know everything's gonna be fine. I'm not to worry myself. Everything's gonna be perfectly fine, and you know, like, yeah. So I, I kind of feel a little better being home with him doing this this time or that time and uh, you know like it was just like cute but guys then I went to doctor the next day to check up on the baby so you guys will see a clip of that my first visit uh, and I heard the baby I heard the baby heartbeat and then that's when I finally like come to myself that there is a human being inside you 
you you have a baby inside you and that's the heartbeat guys i felt so emotional i started crying i was like because before i was like drinking because you guys saw my resort vlogs my new year's christmas new year's vlogs i've been drinking and stuff like that and i, I was on the pill for a month and a half while pregnant you didn't know so i felt really emotional because i was like i was hurting my baby and i didn't know that i was pregnant so I, the doctor was assuring me that the baby's fine there i wasn't hurting the baby it was pretty early so the um it doesn't it doesn't do the baby any harm so even though they were saying all that things, even my boyfriend was saying it to me before I went to the doctor, because I thought reflecting not all the things I have done before I found out. And he was uh, uh, reassuring me that the baby's fine, it's early, don't worry, the baby's fine. But even though they're telling me all these things, guys, I was still like very like feeling really, I feel really bad in myself knowing that I was hurting my child, even though I didn't know. But they were like the baby, the doctor said the baby was 100% fine. I should stop worrying, I should stop crying, but I just couldn't hold it back, guys. I get very, really, really emotional. And when I heard that heartbeat, guys, my heart melts. My heart melt, okay? It melted, melted, melt. I fell in love immediately. Immediately, I fell in love with that little fetus in there, okay? So, it's not even fetus yet. <laughs> it was just like a little dot, but there was a heartbeat and oh my god. It was it was it was amazing. You know, it was amazing. But right after that, guys, I I started I became really really sick. Really sick. I was on the couch for days, weeks actually. Can't move, like I only moved to go to the bathroom. Uh, my boyfriend would bring food to me on the couch. <laughs> I had the, I had the, the, like the worst headache. My head will hurt me all day, all night. It will, it, it was so painful. It would wake me out my sleep. I was on the couch. I was depressed. I was sick. My head was killing me. I was my na nausea was killing me. It was so bad. The doctor had to prescribe uh, gravol. For me to take and for my headache he prescribed a uh, uh, cetamol and i was still afraid to take those pills because i'm like i already hurt i was already hurting my child by drinking those taking those shots shot 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 so, so i'm like i ain't gonna take anything because i heard when you're pregnant you're not supposed to take any pill even though the doctor prescribed it i was still afraid to take it so i was supposed to take the gravel three times a day and i would take it like every two times a week I will just bear the pain and the suffering just to like, to keep, it gives me a, like a, a peace of mind, you know, so I will just bear the suffering. As for the headache, the, set, um, the setamol, I wouldn't really take it either. My boyfriend would be like, you need to take it, you need to take it, you're going to just lay there and suffer. I'm like, okay, let me suffer. I'll suffer. <laughs> I'll suffer for my child. So yeah, it was really bad. I couldn't really move. I couldn't. Re I couldn't really have a conversation with anybody. I couldn't really do anything. I was bloated as hell. I was uncomfortable as hell. So I was really sick. I that's why I wasn't making any video or anything like that. I couldn't even bear the light of the, the, the computer, much less edit or anything like that. I didn't have any strength. It was awful, guys. It was awful. I'm like, I mean, I was fine until I found out I was pregnant, then it was awful. I ain't gonna lie to you, it was awful. <laughs> For a few months, it was awful. And I was like, God, you see, I know that pregnancy is not for me. It is not for me. I don't see how some people on YouTube seem so okay. And I did a lot of research, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot, lot of research. I will research every single thing. If I feel, a little tingling in my arm, I research it. <laughs> I know. And I'm like, and I watch all these YouTube video videos. I discover a lot of um, YouTubers, um, moms and stuff like that. I watch their vlogs and their baby and it will just give me a peace of mind and stuff like that. And like, I was like, how do they seem so okay? How do they just fine? And I'm like, you're dying. Like, how? Oh, I just don't get it. Why do I have to suffer so much? Why can't I enjoy my pregnancy like everybody else? 
But then I didn't, people are like, I didn't really tell it. Well, I haven't, I, I don't tell anybody. It was a big secret, guys, actually. I didn't really tell anybody. Just like my aunt and my sister and my boyfriend knew. And then um, he told his close family and stuff. So they were the only person that knew I would stay inside and all that. But I was sick anyway, so I had to stay inside. So yeah, and that's what, actually guys, I have a few videos when I was feeling a little better. I have a few videos when I was telling my Aunt Ellen. So guys, look for that video, a video and on, and I have a video when I was telling my grandmother, I went to the car and I visited her, surprised her with my big stomach. <laughs> you got, guys, you, you, you don't want to miss those videos, okay? So yeah, and I'm just ready to get back to my channel guys. I am not going to be AYA anymore. You guys just comment down below what kind of video you guys want me to make and upload. So because I mean like this is a new chapter. This is a new me. This is new everything. My first child, my first ever child other than my niece Natoria. I love her so much. I miss her so much. So yes, I am having a baby, guys. Well, we are having a baby because you, you, all of you guys are aunts now. I don't know. If, I don't know if there's any uncles. I don't know if there's any guy watch my vlogs or videos. But my guys, you are aunts. You're all YouTube aunts. So you guys, guys, we all having a baby. Okay. So comment down below what kind of video you guys want me to make a post, and uh, I will definitely make it happen. So yeah. I just want to thank you guys for the loyal support and just sticking with me throughout my YouTube journey and you know just continue to support me continue to be there for me I highly appreciate y'all so yeah as I step into this new chapter of my life with a positive vibe I don't know what really to expect or what it's like to really be a mom, but I am going to try my best. <laughs> if you guys have any advice, comment down below. <laughs> I am going to try my best to be the best mom possible because it is very, very, very important to me to be the best mom I can be. Okay? So, yeah. And also, guys, look out for my gender reveal vlog there will be a gender reveal vlog so guys look out for that and yeah so yes guys that's it we're having a baby <laughs> oh my god i'm having a baby guys yes a few months ago i wasn't like this guys trust me i was like mm -hmm. so like it was like a zombie I couldn't even get my guys. Nobody told me when you're pregnant you didn't want to comb your hair, you didn't want to dress up, you didn't want to put on any makeup, you didn't want to do nothing. You were just lazy as hell. Yeah, I was that pregnant. I'm that pregnant woman, but no, I'm a lot better, guys. A lot, lot better. Thank God. I'm myself. I haven't been feeling myself for a very long time, but now I am back to myself. Like maybe like 95% myself now or maybe 90, 95% myself now. So of course I'm back. I'm back. And I'm back with a little one. So it's two of us now. <laughs> oh my God. I miss, I miss you too. I miss making videos. This is my first official video. Okay. So yeah show you guys i'm gonna just give you guys a little peek of the bump okay <laughs> okay so here the baby is i gained a lot of weight <laughs> all right so i guess enough has been said anything that you guys want to know just comment down below let me know and i will make a video for you guys so Thank you guys so much for watching and <sighs> hmm. I'm still kind of in a little denial, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it knowing that I'm going to have a baby. So I'm actually way better than I used to be. <laughs> 
all these changes is so obvious like I cannot be in denial any longer but anyways yes guys thank you guys so much for watching and look out for all the exciting vlogs ahead and I'll see you guys in another video okay bye <laughs>
I can't see anything. It's too dark. Yeah. You get to watch it right when I record. When I record. Mm -hmm. This is. This one is just for this one is just here for stuff. Everything here looks fine.